Hey guys, Chris with Tillman Family Farms. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you haven't done so, please go down and like and subscribe and ring that bell so you'll see all the videos that we put out. Guys, since today's video is about Starkline Electric Netting, I want you guys to take a second and go over and go to their YouTube channel. Uh, they've started doing videos on how to connect their fence, how to uh, shorten the fence, how to do all sorts of stuff and, and set up their product and all that. So it's gonna be some great information out there for you guys and they're a great company to get involved with. Go over to Stark Line Netting and subscribe and start watching the videos over there. Also, down in the description, I will have a link to our discount code with Stark Line Electric Netting. We still have a ton of people asking us about that. It's uh, when, when you go to the website, there's a box at checkout that you can put in a discount code. That discount code is Tillman Family, okay? Uh, all one word, and I'm pretty sure that they're still accepting that uh, as a 10% discount code. They gave it to us last year, uh, but it, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for you guys to save a little bit of money and pick up a great product. So check out the description down below to see what that is. All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about electric fence netting repair. Um, as most of you guys know, we use Starkline Electric Netting. Um, they've been a, a great company for us. We've never had an instance where we went to order something from them and it wasn't in stock. Uh, they, they, they've just been a very good resource for us. Now, I'd also like to explain that the netting that we use is not designed to keep in the animals that we use it for. So we use the, the premium sheep and goat netting for our pigs. So we, with this damage that I'm gonna show you, I don't want that to be anything that, that is shown badly upon the, the product itself. We use it for what it is not intended to be used for, but it works and it works great. We just had an instance where a piece got torn up and, and um, you know, this electric fence netting <clears throat> for any of us small farmers like this is, a, is an investment. And learning how to repair it so that you can take care of your investment and it'll last you a while it is a big thing for us. Um, the people at Stark Line were nice enough to send me some clips that uh, are used for repairing netting. There's a lot of videos out there that show you how to repair it with uh, zip ties and all sorts of stuff. This is what the manufacturer recommends, so this is what we're going to do this video on. I don't know, th this net's torn up pretty good, uh, so I'm not 100% sure how much of this I'm going to be able to fix, but there are a lot of, of very simple, normal type fixes that we can show you, show you the right pieces. We'll leave some links down in the description for these uh, clips that, that are uh, designed to fix this fence. They're called LIDS clips. Uh, metal with some little plastic slides on them. I'll show you all that here in just a minute. And uh, we'll take a look at this fence section. I'll show you the damage. I'll show you what I think I can fix and what I'm not 100% sure if I can fix or not. So let's get into it. All right, so what I've done, I've kind of stretched this fence out um, and stood it up in one of the sections that's in bad shape. Uh, it's only one section. And what happened was uh, we had a boar and he decided he wanted to climb up on his water barrel. And when he came off of that water barrel, he got tangled up in this fence. And he was getting shocked and he went a little berserko and that's how he tore up most of this stuff. So we're gonna look at it and see what we can fix and what we can't. But first of all, I wanna start off and show you these clips and show you how they're made. There's a couple of different variations of them. And um, we'll, See what we can't figure out i've never used these before so bear with me all right so there's two different types okay so one of the questions that i had about these before i ever got them was do they just connect the wire back together or do they connect it back together and it, it makes it conductive still so the answer to that is that these clips are designed for it to be conductive okay so this is one that will replace a cross section so your wire goes in the end here it, it goes in and it folds back on itself and then you slide that piece over it to hold it in place. So you'll do that in all four sections and that would be, so when, he, when you get done with it, and I'm not sure if I've got a section we're gonna be able to use this on or not, uh, not with this fence. But anyway, so when you get done with it, 
it's going to look something like that. Uh, and this is if you are fixing a net that is completely net. This is a sheep and goat net, so these uprights are plastic. So there's a little something different here. So this is one of the clips to do a cross section. Um, so they also have them just to do a straight section. Same concept, it's just a straight section. Now I want to say, that may be all that's in here. I do think, I may not have one in this set, but I do think they make one that's just a T. It doesn't have this bottom one on it, and that would be to fix the bottom row down there. So that would, if you had one that was torn up going down to the bottom, that would be the one to fix that. But this is one section. This is the one that's going to keep them all hot. So that's those clips. Um, these other ones are a little bit different. They're designed for this plastic stuff. And I'm having a little bit of trouble understanding them. But basically, you have this piece. It's got a channel in the middle of it. So that plastic slides in that channel. And then this has a groove down the middle of it. And it slides over it just like that. And it's designed to kind of clamp down on that plastic and hold it in place. So that's going to be if, just say in the middle of one of these this would be to fix that so i'm not 100 percent sure that i have a spot that i'm even going to be able to use these and i know that i don't have enough of these clips to fix all of these sections but we're going to fix uh, some of it so that i can show you guys the the proper uh fix for this fence and the situations that these clips will work in okay so we'll start with a simple repair so these, you know, all of this electric wire has a, a steel wire in it. So if you'll take and twist these things and kind of let that uh, get everything back nice and neat and tight like that, that way you'll have something pretty easy to work with in the hole. But I think that this is pretty simple. So you're going to take this and you're going to slide your wire through that hole and then you're going to double it back on itself. So we're going to slide it through that hole. And then we're going to fold it back on itself. And then we're going to slide the black piece right up over it. I'll say, there it goes. All right, so simple as that. So that one's connected on that side. So now, oh, I got to put my black piece back on. Hold on. This is live now. I've never fixed one of these before, so I'm, I'm learning as I'm showing you. All right, so same thing. You're going to slide it back through there. Gonna double it over. See that? And then you're gonna slide this piece over. Oh, which I put it, I put it back on backwards. Hang on. See, I told you I was learning. Let's swap that around. And we're gonna tighten that back up. Trial and error is what farming's all about sometimes. Alright, so now I got it back in there like that, and I'm gonna slide it up over. That one's fixed. I'm gonna change this camera view so you can see what that looks like. So when it's repaired, if I can get this thing to focus on the right thing and not the grass behind it. Anyway, so when it's repaired, it's gonna look like that. Kinda. God, this thing won't focus. Um, but anyhow, that is the simplest repair. It's just a straight section right there. No zip ties, no nothing. These are lids clips. All right, so if you have a set of netting that is just the electric wire, this is the right fix, okay? But this one, being the premium sheep and goat netting, it's got the plastic uprights on it, this is not gonna work. Um, but I do wanna show you how to fix this plastic upright, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this system the plastic system, the one that's got the groove in it and all that, this is going to have to go over the plastic upright. And this one is going to have to go up, like so. And then you're going to take this. I say. I don't want to do it very well, 
Ну, да. Let's try it like that. Let's try it a different way. Oh, there it goes. Ha! See there? Trial and error. So, instead of sliding it over that like that, you need to slide it all the way up on it. And then you're going to put this down in it and slide over like so. So that is how you fix the uprights. Now, I have a, I have a crazy scheme to possibly fix this. Let me think about this for a minute. I may have to go get some stuff. All right, so let me show you what I've done. Of course, we clipped this out, we clipped that off. So now what I've done is I have added a, uh, the, the straight line lids clip on this side and I've added one on this side. This is a piece of uh, just single strand wire that you buy on a spool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna connect it across first, okay? Then I have taken our straight up and down clip, which that one's not it, taken our straight up and down clip and I've modified it with a, with a little notch in it, okay? So what I wanna do is fix it straight across and then I'm gonna lay this wire under that one as I go down and let this push down and see if I can get it all to hold together. This is a wing and a prayer. I'm gonna see if it'll work. All right, so far so good. Let me see if I can make this other one work. All right, so, so far I have my top one in and you can see my notch here. So what my plan is, is to, so this won't slide over the, the side by, or the, the uh, vertical one, sorry, the horizontal one, um, with it already through the hole. So I put it on and I'm gonna take something and I'm gonna pull that out and then I'm gonna slide this wire up behind it. Then I'm gonna pull this back down closer to the connection and then we'll put this one together. So that actually turned out way easier than I thought it would. So now I'm gonna slide this one up and go ahead and put this one together. And um, this is uh, probably not the way to fix this, but that is fixed. A little farm ingenuity never hurt anybody. So uh, I'm sure that I'll probably get an email from our friends at Starkline and say, hey, dummy, we have a solution for that. But um, I don't know about that solution right now, so this is what I'm doing. All right, guys, so this is really the section that he got really tangled up in. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be repairable or not. I have an idea. So uh, I'm gonna work on that idea, and if it works, it will be included in this video, and I will explain it to you. All right, so it is possible. Um, this, to me, is not ideal, but this is how these clips work. I wish I could get this to focus on a little bit better, but um, that's how they work, and what I've done is I, I clip below the ball there, and I clip below or above the ball there so I could tie in. I've got this tied onto here, and then the same thing here. I've got it tied there, and then we just use the clip in the center. So it is repairable when you have a big one like this. Um, I need some more clips to finish repairing it. I got about one, two, three, four. I need about four four more of these uh, cross-section clips to finish fixing this, but this will give you a good idea of what you can do with this stuff. Um, when this one is completely repaired, I don't know what kind of service it will get in the field, but it will be usable. So that's the, that's the goal, uh, is to have it usable. This may be one of those sections that has a... Um, has a single strand hot wire on the inside of it so that they don't ever get to test that right there but anyhow um uh, uh, this is uh one of those things where you just have to get ingenuitive so you see i still have pretty fair amount of stuff to fix there all right guys so that's it for this one um just wanted to give you guys the the 
right channels to go through to get these pieces and parts to repair your electric netting. And, and these clips, they work on all brands. It's not just the Starkline netting that we use, but uh, you can get them from Starkline. You can find them on Amazon and all sorts of places like that. But I'm gonna leave a link to them down below. Um, but this is some ways that you use them correctly. And then if you're ingenuitive, you can figure out other ways to use them like I was doing. So uh, I don't have enough to finish, so I'm gonna order me some more and try to get this net put back together so I can get it back in service. We appreciate you guys watching more than you know. Love everybody out there. Love all the comments and all the, the new subscribers we've been getting here lately. So it, it's turning into a really fun experience for us here on YouTube. But um, we'll most definitely keep putting out videos. And we appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you on the next one.